Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in series RLC circuit. A coil of resistance 5 ohm and inductance 100 millihenry is connected in series with a 200 microfarad capacitor across a 200 volt 50 hertz supply. Calculate the impedance, current, power factor, total power, the voltage across the coil and draw the phasor diagram. So here the series RLC circuit is given. So first we have to write the given data. So in this one, a coil of resistance 5 ohm and inductance 100 ohm is connected in series with this capacitor 200 microfarad. Okay, across the voltage 200 volt with 50 hertz. So in this given data, we have to write the resistance value as 5 ohm, inductance value as 100 millihenry. So, milli means 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. So, next capacitor C is equal to 200 microfarad. Micro means 10 to the power minus 6. Here the voltage is equal to 200 volt and frequency is equal to 50 hertz. So, first we are going to find out the impedance value. So, for this series RLC circuit, what is the formula for impedance? That is, Z is equal to R plus J into XL minus XC. Correct? So, this is the formula for the impedance of RLC series circuit. So, in this problem, R value is given as 5 ohm. But what about this XL and XC? XL is the inductive reactance. Its value can be obtained by using the formula 2 pi F into L. So, we know the values of F and L both are given in this problem. So, here we can substitute that value here. XL is equal to 2 into pi into F value is 50. L value is 100 millihenry. So, 100 into 10 to the power minus 3. Then we can get the inductive reactance value as 31.42 ohm. So, next we have to find out this capacitive reactance. That is X is equal to. 1 by 2 pi Fc. So here we know the values of F and C. We can simply substitute those values in this Xc formula. So here the capacitive reactance Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi 50 into 200 microfarad. So micro means 10 to the power minus 6. Then we can get the capacitive reactance as 15.92 ohm. Okay. So next we have to substitute this XL and XC values in this impedance formula. Then we can get here impedance is equal to R is replaced with the value 5 plus J. XL is 31.42 minus XC value is 15.92. So 31.42 minus 15.92 that value is 15.5 ohm. Do you all understand this one? So this is the impedance value in complex term. Complex means it consists of the real term and imaginary term. Okay. Next we are going to find out the polar form for this impedance. So for polar form we need to find out the magnitude as well as the phase. So here the magnitude of the impedance is equal to the square root of real term square plus imaginary term square. 5 is the real term, 15.5 is the imaginary term. So we can get the square root of 5 squared plus 15.5 squared. Then we can get the answer as 16.29 ohm. So this is the magnitude of the impedance value. Then the phase angle can be obtained by using this formula. Turn inverse of the ratio of imaginary value to the real term. So here imaginary term is 15.5, the real term is 5. We can get turn inverse of 15.5 divided by 5. The answer is 72.12 degree. We can write the impedance in terms of complex form as well as polar form like this. Do you all understand this one? So next we are going to find out the current. So current I is equal to V by Z. That is the ratio of voltage to the impedance. So here this impedance represents the magnitude value. So here we can simply substitute the voltage value as 220 
here the magnitude of the impedance is 16.29 then we can get the answer as 13.5 ampere do you all understand this one so next we are going to find out the power factor that is cos phi is equal to the ratio of resistance to the magnitude of the impedance so here the resistance value is 5 the magnitude of the impedance value is 16.29 then we can get the answer as 0.307 so here the phase angle is 72.12 that means it is lagging with respect to the voltage so we can say the power factor is also lagging one okay so next we are going to find out the total power so first apparent power that is the general power v into i so we know the values of v and i simply substitute those values here 220 that is the voltage value i is 13.5 we can get the answer as 2970 volt ampere so that is the apparent power value so next we are going to find out the real power the real power is nothing but the power dissipated due to the coil or the resistor alone so here we can take the real power as v into i cos phi so v value is 220 i value is 13.5 cos phi value is 0 0.307 then we can get the answer as 911.5 Seven nine watts. Do you all understand this one? Next, we are going to find out the voltage drop across the coil. So, in this one, we can consider the coil is nothing but the combination of a resistor and inductor connected in series. So, here we can consider the coil as a RL circuit. So, VL is equal to I into Z RL. So, what is the magnitude of this combination? square root of r squared plus xl squared so here we can simply substitute all those values that is the voltage drop across the coil is equal to i value is 13.5 square root of r value is 5 here xl value is 31.42 so 5 squared plus 31.42 squared we can get the answer as vl is equal to 429.5 volt do you all understand this one? So similarly we can find out the voltage drop across the capacitor. So here we are going to consider only the capacitor value. So here Vc is equal to I into Xc. So here Xc is nothing but 15.92 that is the capacitive reactance. Then we can get the value as 214.9 volt that is the voltage drop across the capacitor. So in this RLC circuit, we can consider the coil as a combination of R and L. Okay, that is RL circuit. So next, the phasor diagram of this RLC circuit. For that, we can take this current in this direction. For that resistive element, that voltage and current both are in phase. Okay, as we know that for this capacitor, the current leads this capacitive voltage by 90 degree for inductor alone the current lags behind this VL by 90 degree as a combination of this RLC series circuit the phase value is 72.12 degree then we can have the resultant voltage in this direction with the phase 72.12 degree its magnitude is square root of VR squared plus VL minus VC the whole square Okay, so this is the final phasor diagram for this given problem.